guys, I'm Brittany Rivers and welcome to my channel. So, I'm coming at you all with a travel vlog today. I am going on my first cruise with my sister. We are going to board the ship in a couple of hours. So, this is my first cruise ever and it's virgin, so I'm super excited. I know their colors are like red, so I wanted to wear my red dress, but I'll show you all my whole outfit. But, I hope you all enjoy this video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Madam Brittany and let's get into this video. So I got on a flight at 5 a.m. to Miami, from Memphis to Miami, and we board the ship here. So on Tuesday, we are going to be in Mexico, and on Thursday, which is Thanksgiving, we're gonna be in the Bahamas. So I'm super excited. I just got my passport, so this is also my first time leaving the country, period. So this is gonna be fun, you guys, I think. <sighs> I never been on a cruise, so I don't know what to expect. My sister is like a cruise vlogger, basically. She she knows the ins and outs. Like, I'm with the best person possible. You all are gonna meet her, of course, in this video. But I hope you all enjoy it. I'm about to go back to the room and hopefully we'll be boarding the ship soon. So I wanted to give you all a cute little outfit of the day. So this red dress is from Baby Boo. I'll link it in the description box, but I just wanted to come with it the first day. Like, I wanted to come with it you guys so we ended up staying super close to the cruise port we were only about three miles away but this is my first time ever seeing the ship and it is beautiful this is the scarlet lady we are going to be on for the next five days oh my goodness look at who it is wow are you excited now yes Compared to the video from this morning. Your first group cruise, how do you feel? Terrified. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Look, if you're gonna make fun of me, I'm not gonna let you put me in your video. Okay guys, so I am in line to board the ship. I don't know, I don't know what's going on, but we'll see what's happening. It's Brittany's first cruise. Okay guys, so we are all checked in. I'm actually getting a little scared, to be honest. Like, I don't know, ships are super scary to me. They don't have laws in the water. So I'm kind of scared. I'm not gonna tell her though. I'm not gonna tell her that. She's never gonna let me live it down. But I just gotta remember Sweet Life on deck. Like, what have I done? So as we are boarding the ship, the crew is over there dancing and they were also playing Summer Renaissance by Beyonce on the loudspeaker and I felt like I was in the right spot. I just felt at home when I heard that Summer Renaissance. So when you get on the ship, you get your bracelet and this is how you get in your room. You pay for any kind of drink or anything you buy on the ship. So this is just like your payment this is your apple pay your whatever oh okay <laughs> wow, wow this is it okay guys so here is the bathroom a nice lit up mirror i love a nice lit up mirror sink toilet there's the shower you guys very cute see so here is the room this is how you control the temperature and i don't know what else i'll figure that out in a little bit so here is a nice full length mirror. I definitely needed that 100%. Uh, here's the bed. We're gonna get them to separate it in a little bit. And this is the balcony. It's gonna look way different when we're actually on the water. But yeah, this is the room. And there's Jennifer. The Chester cat. That is my <laughs> sister. When you get to your room, you have to watch the safety video. And it was actually really cool and enjoyable. They made it a whole song, a whole production. Definitely watch the safety video. <laughs> hey guys, so I'm trying my first food. So the first place we ate at was the social bar and I started off with a pretzel and the cheese dip. The pretzel was just a little hard. I think they were just so excited for us to get on the ship. They had it ready a little too soon. So it was just like a six. It was a six, you guys. 
But the reason we went here first was because my sister really wanted the whiskey float. And you guys, this thing was delicious. And it had liquor in it, honey. It had that liquor. I also got a Philly cheese dog. Hey, what y'all get? Uh, I got the Philly hot dog pretzel and then the whiskey dream. Oh, oh. <laughs> I have four for you to try. So one for Jay. So all of the crew was so helpful. The man at the social bar decided to help me with my bracelet because it was a little loose. Like they were just all very helpful, so nice. Even the other sailors, which is what they call the other people on the crew, were super friendly. Everybody was talking to everyone. It was great vibe. And I would say that's because this is a adult only crew. Without kids, I just think the vibe is way better. Okay. Let's keep it moving. So before my next meal, I decided to see the arcade in the back of the social bar. And they have the vintage classic games, Mario Bros, Donkey Kong, and Mortal Kombat. All of the games are free. I'm so sad I did not get a chance to actually play. But next time, I'm definitely hitting the arcade. The next restaurant I decided to visit was the Dog House. And let me tell you, those shrimp skewers were everything. Like, I will dream about those. They were so good. So I got one plate of shrimp, one plate of steak, and mm, it's all-inclusive, all you can eat. So you can keep getting plates, you guys. Like, understand, I know what all-inclusive means. I'm going to keep eating. But this was the view from the balcony at the Dog House. You can see Miami. It just looks beautiful. So the next place we decided to explore was the cafeteria area or the galley. They have these grab and go plates. They have smoked salmon, a few desserts, carrot cake up top, sandwiches, but they have all these different types of restaurants within the cafeteria. They have ramen, sushi, a burger spot, just a little bit of everything. You guys, you have your coffee place, popsicle stand absolutely everything but this is when i started getting a little crazy mind you at this point we have been on the ship for maybe 30 minutes but i am a sweet girly i love sweets i am so sorry so when i saw these and they were all you can eat all inclusive oh i went crazy i really did yeah the coconut Scarlet Lady, <laughs> pumpkin cheesecake. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, yeah. I was trying to s'mores. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. <laughs> and I'll get the donut. Oh, you have peach and berry cobbler. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> okay. I want the cookie. And the thank you. <laughs> so I don't know if you all saw me, but we're doing a little mukbang. Had my three plates of desserts. That's a little extra, a little embarrassing. Okay, I got like a peach and berry cobbler. Let me show you all. Peach and berry cobbler, Thanksgiving donut, yum yum yum. The cranberry cookie. Okay, that's plate number one. <laughs> plate number two, we have a pumpkin cheesecake. This is a s'mores jar. Okay, and then we're gonna move on to plate number three. <laughs> plate number three, we have a pecan tart there. We got a coconut something there. And then here, this is a Scarlet Lady. So. We got some stuff. Let's try it and rate it one through 10. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start with this cookie. It has cranberries in it. Mm -mm -mm. I guess it's a little Thanksgiving -y. Mm hmm. <laughs> yeah, this is yummy. Like if it was even warmer, it would go crazy. So we're gonna move on to the berry. <laughs> the berry cobbler it has peach and blueberry. So let's try this, huh? Mmm. Mm. Mm. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let me try this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's it. For sure you're right on. <laughs> For sure you're right. It got a little bit of the crust in it from mm. the pie. So we're moving on to the donut. 
it's okay. I would give it like a seven. We're gonna move on to the pecan tart. Pecan, pecan, pecan. Wait, no, y'all say pecan. I say pecan. Yeah, this is kind of Thanksgiving-y. It's cool they brought out the Thanksgiving type of foods. So at this point, the music got a little loud, but I moved on to the Scarlet Lady. And let me tell you, this was the best thing here. This is chocolate mousse goodness. It was just fantastic. Like if you like the a chocolate cheesecake, that's it for you. That is it, 100%. It was so delicious. Okay, let me try to hurry up because uh, my, my whole battery, my whole memory card is gonna be dessert. Y'all, I was throwing back these desserts back to back, but let me tell you, that s'mores cup was delicious. It was everything. 10 out of 10. If you see me dance with it, that's how you know I'm happy. I love it. Wait, her face. <laughs> Watch her. I mean, I like sweet too, Judy, but you, it's not playing, okay? That's a pumpkin cheesecake. We got a Thanksgiving donut. This um, cobbler is good. We got a cranberry cookie. It was okay. Hey, you not playing. This Scarlet Lady right here. <laughs> the Scarlet Lady. Hey, you not playing. The Scarlet Lady is good. The s'mores jar is pretty good. I got a pecan tart. She's not playing. <laughs> yeah, your vlog is going to be the one to watch. I can't even begin. <laughs> okay guys, so I'm back in the room. I'm going to head downstairs after I fix my hair to do like this safety check and stuff. But I don't know if I'm going to have to mute my dessert video or what, but that that dessert was deserting. I am a sweet head. Like I love sweets. I'm a little shiny right now, but I love sweets. Um, our, oh, am I looking thick? You see this belly because honey, I've been eating. So <laughs> I had that pretzel, whiskey flow, hot dog, chicken, no, the steak skewer, shrimp skewer, um, sushi, <laughs> sushi, I had sushi. I had um, all those desserts, at least eight desserts. So I've been eating y'all, I've been eating. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna fix my hair and then I'm gonna head downstairs. But y'all, I didn't know there was gonna be a Travis Kelsey looking man up in the food hall. So I'm over here, they give me three plates of desserts. I, well, I got three plates of desserts. Somebody gave me three plates of desserts. And I'm over here embarrassed, honey. Ooh, it sounds like somebody is taking off. Let's see. But now we're going to get to explore together. Just me and you guys. Because I was with my sister at first. So now we can just play and lollygag together. <laughs> so I'm really excited. So today, my sister did have a meetup. But that's a whole nother thing. But we're going to a steak dinner tonight at 8. So by 8, I'll be hungry again, maybe. When I'm at home, I eat one meal a day. But when I'm out of town, I'm going crazy. And then at 10, it's the pajama party. So that's going to be fun. I'm going to be oh, so excited. But yeah, we'll see how that goes. So I decided to do a little bit of exploring. So here is the casino area. I was hoping I would get a chance to come here and play a little bit. But it was just so much to do. And the spot of the casino was just so perfect too. It was right outside of the club. So you walk past this. I wish I would have got some really cute pictures here, but this is a very cool area. So I also decided to tour the stores a little bit. They have a store area. Here's the Bulgari. I saw a Marc Jacobs store. This is just like version merch over there. They had all kinds of designer items, perfume. A lot of fantastic items in this store, you guys, that you can buy while you're on the ship. I decided to stop by my sister's group trip meetup and see how the turnout was. And y'all, she had some folks there. She had them people. And somehow I managed to find desserts again. I found the ice cream shop, which is called Lick Me Till Ice Cream, which was pretty cool. So I had to get me a cone. Okay guys, I was most excited for the ice cream and I got pistachio. That's not something I would normally get, but it's free. All the food is included. I'm an ice cream lover. Like y'all know, I love my sweets. You can see that I love my sweets. So. I'm gonna be getting ice cream every second, to be honest. I might double back. I need two ice cream cones in my hand at once so I can do 
So they have different types of cones too. It's a red velvet, chocolate, and then the normal cone. So I also decided to explore the outside of the ship. So this is an outdoor shower right by the hot tub and pool area. There were several hot tubs. Here's like a little kickboxing boxing ring, which was really cool. They had a lot of outdoor fitness type of things. Doing this, looking over the ocean is just a total vibe, you guys. I'm so glad I got to actually work out on this cruise because it was so fun. Also, there is a basketball court. There was also a game of dodgeball on this court. So, you know me, I do love basketball. So I did have to shoot a few hoops and see if I still got it. Okay guys, I'll shoot some hoops for you guys really quickly. Really quickly, we'll do this. Okay, hold on, let me sit you all down and let's see if I still have it. Hold on, I have to take off my Gucci platforms. We can't hoop in Gucci. Or can we? That was just practice, hold on. Okay guys, I did it, I did it. At this point, the sell away party was beginning. And this is where people come around with trays of champagne, just giving you champagne left to right. Music is playing and it is a whole party. So let's get to the party, you guys. Who is here to party? Oh, okay. Guys, I made a friend. This is Jewel. This is Jewel. Do you want to put your socials? What's your social? Y'all can follow me at Jewel's Journey on Instagram. Follow her, you guys. Yes! Oh my god, big booty and smash. Okay, are we starting? Oh yeah. Alright, you ready? Yeah. Okay guys, so we are gonna get ready to go to dinner, but y'all should have seen my reaction when I realized the ship was moving. It was insane. Like, I don't know, I was, it was just, and it seemed so fast when I was looking at the ship actually move. It was crazy, but I'm going to show you all my outfit. We are going to the wake, which is the steakhouse on the ship. Honestly, I'm not that hungry and I'm disappointed because I was planning to eat everything today. So I am a little disappointed, but I'll definitely show you all what I eat and show you all my outfit, the look I'm going to serve for the grass. Okay guys, so this is the outfit of the night. The dress is from Shein, the shoes are from Shein. This is really the outfit of the hour, you guys, but here is the wake. It looks so beautiful and fancy on the inside. And there's my sister, went to dinner with Jennifer. That thing Brittany got me doing is Got you doing what? So I decided to start off with a clam chowder as my appetizer and it was pretty good, you guys. I did enjoy it, had to add a little pepper. And she got the wedge salad. I've been wanting to try a wedge salad for so long. It did look pretty good, you guys. And also that's some kind of dressing. They do bring a cup of bread to your table. That bread was so good and it was really good to dip into the clam chowder. I am the fastest eater I know. For my main dish, I decided to get the lamb chops and they were hitting you guys. They also give you like this half of garlic and i love garlic so i was putting that all throughout my lamb i did get the fries as a side and a glass of wine the wine was delicious and for dessert i could not skip dessert i got baked alaska i have been wanting to try baked alaska for so long like i first saw this on the sims you guys i really wanted to try it um it was okay i was expecting way more so when we came back to the room, they did have the bed separated and I really like this. Like, huh, I kind of miss sleeping on a twin bed. I thought it was a very cute setup. I loved how they made it like an L shape instead of putting them like beside each other. Y'all, so I don't know if I will be able to travel with Jennifer anymore. Like, 
I can't. She just is not hungry enough for me. Like me, I you saw those desserts. Those are all mine. The restaurant. She <laughs> didn't even want dessert at the restaurant. Now look, ice cream closed at ten o'clock. It's nine forty. Four, I gotta put on my pajamas. I really want some more ice cream. And this girl, she's like, how you got room for ice cream? You always got room for ice cream. Shoot, I can't stand people like that. Always full. This, the limit does not exist. <laughs> Jennifer, run! Ice cream closes. Ice cream closes. <laughs> Jennifer, come on. So the pajama party was super chill. Everybody looked so nice in their pajamas. Like it was really a vibe, you guys. But I just got a little tired. It's 11 o'clock and I think the tiredness kind of hit me. I just kind of went to the cafeteria area and sat down. My sister might just find me in the room sleeping and I'm gonna call it at night. And she gonna see me when she see me. Peace. Y'all, my sister texted me that they were giving away cookies. Wait, I can take the stairs. So she texted me that they were giving away cookies at the pajama party. So I got up from that seat I was sitting in. Cookies gone. I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed. I'm gonna actually be a little scared to see the ship on water in the day. Like right now, it's been dark since we started moving. So to see it moving in the middle of the ocean, I think I'm gonna be super scared. Good morning, guys. It is six o'clock in the morning and I am up early. Got my water bottle. I'm gonna go to the cafeteria to fill this up. But I am going to my first event today. I have never done yoga, but I've been wanting to do yoga so long. I wanna do hot yoga and I want to do like aerial yoga with the ropes and stuff. I think that would be fun. But I'm gonna try to fill this water bottle and then head to yoga. So let's go, you guys. So I did want to stop at the gym and see what kind of equipment they had. So they had treadmills. This is like the cardio gym. And then they have a weightlifting gym on the other side. But this is just a total vibe. While you're on the treadmill or the elliptical, you can look out the window and you just see the sea. Like that is a beautiful view. So on the top of the ship, there also is a track. I was a little early to yoga, so I decided to walk on the track a little bit. You have one side for sprinting, one for walking. And once again, you get beautiful views when you're able to look over the ship. And nobody was awake, so I was like, let me redeem myself on the basketball court real quick. I know I'm better than what I was yesterday. And I did it. And guys, it was finally yoga time. I'm telling you, doing yoga at sunrise was just such a fantastic idea. Like, it was a beautiful scenery. Apparently, the class I went to was a little more meditation and breathing focused, but I enjoyed it. Like, you all see, it looks so beautiful, and now the sun is starting to come up. It was a total vibe. And y'all, I'm a little flexible. I kind of ate that. After being all health focused this morning, I decided to treat myself to breakfast. So I decided to get the French toast burger, which is not something I would normally buy, but I was like, yeah, I gotta try this. Like, look at that. Their French toast was so good, you guys. It was everything. Y'all, I tore that thing up. It was so good. And I'm not used to pork bacon. When I'm at home, I normally just buy turkey bacon and it was fantastic. My sister told me, okay, I'll see you after you finish school. So I have a few classes I'm going to. I've been kind of chilling in the room. I've been chilling in the hammock. I'm gonna take some cute pictures in that when I get in my swimsuit. But firstly, I'm gonna head to an acupuncture class, acupuncture class. <laughs> Okay, so firstly, I'm going to head to an acupuncture class. That's it right there, acupuncture. Um, and then it comes with a complimentary acupuncture consultation. So that's cool. So I'm going to do that. And then there's a skincare class I think I want to go to. And then there's the boy band, like, <laughs> dance 
thing so i love boy bands i am obsessed with 90s pop music like i love it in sync backstreet boys like come on <laughs> like i love it so i'm gonna do that and then i can finally get cute then we have dinner at the korean barbecue place i've never had korean barbecue so i'm excited and they play a lot of games so it's gonna be some cool footage i hope i hope i hope so i walked past trivia they were doing trivia in the social bar and this was like a general trivia and i didn't know anything it was geography and all that but they also have certain pop nights and like specific nights but this one mm -mm, y'all mm -mm. okay guys so i went to trivia and i was so terrible it was humiliating yeah i was really really bad you guys i really want to get dressed but i am going to the boy band dance class and it's actually outside I really want to beat my face and get cute. It's just no time. That's crazy. Hey guys. So I'm over here doing my makeup. I just really wanted to do my makeup. Um, I completely overpacked because today it's what? Almost 12 o'clock and I'm still in my workout outfit. It's like so many workout classes. Like it's like I don't want to change out of them. So I am getting dressed to head to a boy band dance class i brought two checked luggages and a carry-on so i brought a lot of stuff and I, I feel like dang i'm not even gonna get to wear half of those outfits so at 12 30 is the 90s boy band dance class so i got about 15 minutes to get ready and talk to you all oh my goodness it's just too much to do afternoon tea at sip lounge <sighs> jeez let me hurry up and finish my makeup because i gotta head to boy band dance class Oh wait, let me put on my lashes. I did break a nail, but I always pack my glue. So I gotta figure out where I packed it. I hope I packed it. If I didn't pack it, I'ma cry. But um, let's figure out where I put that stuff. But yeah, I am having fun. It's just a lot, a lot, a lot to do. I'm ripping and running. As my mom would say, I'm ripping and running, child. So this morning I had that French toast burger. <laughs> uh, I do wanna go back to like the dock house. One of the like, restaurants and get that shrimp skewer it was fire you guys the shrimp skewer ate the girlies up i'm so glad i packed a water bottle if you go on a cruise make sure you pack a water bottle because i am staying hydrated for sure i have been staying very hydrated so i'm happy about that okay guys i'm heading to dance class we'll see how it goes five six seven eight we go right left Stay in place, move, and a left, right. Stay in place, move, to the left, right. Stick it, move, keep going, right. Left, stick it, move, to the left, right. Stick it, move. So it's gonna go right, left, stick it, move, and a left, right. Stick it, move. So we were dancing to Bye Bye and let me tell you, some people came through with the moves like, okay, <laughs> they were, it was so much fun y'all, it was so fun. I'm so mad that other group went first because here's my routine and it was just not bad, it wasn't giving, but this woman, she really wanted to twerk so, you know, we let her do her thing, she really wanted to do it, so. <laughs> So I just know I have to accept that I will not be on the next Honey movie. I will not be on Bring It On. That's okay, cause you know, I had fun. That's all that matters. Okay, so next was my mixology class. I'm sorry the camera is doing this. It's something about the lighting, but I was super excited because I've always wanted to bartend. I don't know why, that was just a dream of mine, but here is my outfit for class. The class was so much fun. So you make five cocktails. They teach you how to make five cocktails and you're drinking them. So by the end of the class, everybody's messed up. So here is the setup. I think just something about the lighting makes the camera look like that. But you have a station. You have rosemary, mint, sweet and sour sauce, and then you have pairings like banana chips, um, dried pineapple to like bring out certain flavors and aromas inside of your drink. This was so fun. And the host of the class was the foodie. I'm not sure his name, but he was amazing, you guys. He did an absolutely great job. 
So here I am mixing the drink. They teach you how to properly use like the stirrer thing and put it between your hands. But we were also able to keep the stirrer after class, but I was so messed up after this class. Like I completely forgot to even get it. I think they knew that, but yeah, it was great. So after you make each drink, there is a little segment where you can take a fantastic picture. They teach you how to take great pictures of food and drinks. Um, I kind of knew most of this stuff, but if you don't know anything about your camera, it is really a great class. It's going to be uh, too much. Too much, but then see how this is uh, different now. It was a clear vodka and it became a tea. So the next drink we made was the glass sipper. It does have glitter in it, so it's kind of based off Cinderella a little bit. As you stir it, it has that edible glitter and you see it really sparkle. It was a beautiful drink, but it was not my favorite drink we made. I think the first one was my favorite. You have to finish it off. You have a rosemary sprig on the side of your plate. All you have to do is stick that baby right in there and you have a cocktail. Okay. Because we're gonna be twerking, our cocktails, you have dirty minds. Oh. That's not what we were talking about. <laughs> yeah. I have a gift to know who has twerked a Me, me, me. You're Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, okay. We're not doing it yet. <laughs> it's supposed to. You're, yeah. you're supposed to say it so hard your hand hurts. Okay. Oh, oh. Yeah. yeah. Shake it. Alright. So, uh, oh. you're going to put one hand on the bottom. You're going to flip it the right way first. <laughs> yeah, <there you> <laughs> She yep. small side up. She top. Okay, it started. Go. It's her fault. There you go. One hand on the bottom. One hand on top. Okay. One hand on the bottom. One hand on the top. There I tell you them that all the time. You're gonna thank me later. Yes. And then what you are gonna try and do is hit all four corners of your shaker to really just use the cocktail together. And you also want to create a cocktail. So you are gonna do a shake that is a form of yes. Daddy's been doing it. Love your energy. Oh my god, girl. Love your energy. And you're in struggle, but first, if you're in a relationship, think about the last thing your partner did that pissed you off. Oh, the fuck down. oh shit. Oh. I'm going to do it. Yeah, oh, they really pissed you off. Okay. Yeah. They, they really. They I can really. never get it. Yes. What are you thinking about? I knew everyone was spilling those drinks way too much when this woman fell on me, just fell out of her chair. Like, it got a little crazy in that class. There you go. You might have to play higher level. A higher level. Oh, 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 Lord have mercy. With these Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, yeah, I like this. Very mysterious, bad boy. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> I feel like I'm telling you exactly what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can make whipped creams, you can make foams, you can make soups. You can infuse spirits with it. So the class was so much fun, but it was time for Korean barbecue. I decided to wear green, and then of course she decided to wear green when she saw my green. Earlier when she was wearing red, I decided to put on red. So that's basically what we were doing the whole cruise. We were just copying each other left and right. And editing this video, I'm surprised I have this many videos of her because I barely saw this girl on this cruise. So we decided to head to Korean barbecue. This is a group dinner she had with other people from her travel group. And it, it's gonna be a pretty fun night, you guys. This is kimchi? Yeah, so that's the kimchi. Yeah, 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 yeah. You picked it up! <laughs> See, he been teaching us. That's learning. He been teaching us. I try. <laughs> At the Korean barbecue restaurant, they play drinking games. So this place is super loud. And let me tell you, I was just so bad at the games. I really did a terrible job. Stuff is really big.
Okay, so it was finally our turn to play the drinking game. So, on every three, six, or nine, you're supposed to clap and not say nothing. So it'll be one, two, then clap. So we get to like 10, 11, 12, and then that person will clap. So that's basically the rules, and if you mess up, you have to take a shot. And you have to take a shot. Okay. Everyone will yell in Gandhi together because Gandhi means cheers in Korea. Okay. Everybody say, Gandhi! Gandhi! One more time, as long as we can. Gandhi! So the game was pretty fun and one thing I didn't mention a lot of these restaurants had special Thanksgiving meals so the first thing we put on the grill was turkey and it was pretty good but the meats really came alive when you dip them in the sauces they definitely need the sauces we probably got every meat and every appetizer they offered I was super full after this everybody was ready to take a nap you guys and that was until I saw my friend in the lobby and she was heading to the club you guys so what did I have to do I went to the club honey this was the first night the club was open and y'all it was insane I was there until the lights came on at home I do not go to the club at all but on the cruise it was different it was a party it was a show like this was very much Project X vibes every single night. I was very much not dressed for the occasion. I had that dress on and I was slipping and sliding out of it, but it was a time. A time was had, you guys. Guys, we are in Cozumel, Mexico. I hope I said that right. I'm gonna be so embarrassed if I didn't. But yeah, I'm gonna show you all my outfit, but here we are. This is actually my first time out of the country, period. I am not in US waters right now. That is wild. And it's even crazier to see the ship. Like to be that close to the ship is insane. But we're in Mexico, don't drink the water. I'm gonna brush my teeth with tequila. But it should be a lot of fun today. So you all will come with me. Okay guys, so I decided to stay with my sister's group today and head to Mr. Sancho's, which is an all-inclusive resort beach club. For $70, you get all you can drink and all you can eat. But first, I decided to stop by the duty-free store and see what they had in there. Like, I thought it was interesting to see. I didn't really get anything, but it's a store. So we decided to take a taxi to Mr. Sancho's. It was somewhat far out. It was about a 20 to 30 minute drive, but we all loaded up and it was just so amazing seeing the streets of Mexico. I saw a lot of Jeeps, seeing the architecture. It was just a beautiful experience. So we arrived at Mr. Sancho's and a really cool thing about this place is they are on the beach but they also offer several different excursions. So I did horseback riding, they have couples massages or just massages, parasailing, jet skiing, and pedicures, like it was amazing. So it also has swim up bars and a buffet. The buffet food was great but they also come to your table and you can order from your table. So. It just had a little bit of everything. It was definitely worth $70, really more, but it only cost $70. So as soon as we got to the beach club, I got my first drink. I started with a pina colada and I was so sad. I forgot my plastic straw because this paper straw was already bending every kind of way, but they had little swings at the bar. I always wanted pictures on these kind of swings. I didn't get any good ones, but it was amazing, you guys. 
Okay guys, I'm getting ready to ride a horse. I've always wanted to ride a horse. It's like been a dream of mine my entire life. So this is huge. Like I'm so excited. Let me show you all these horses. Let me show you guys. Here they are. They look sad. Hi. So this is a 30 minute horse ride and before the ride they spray you with mosquito bug spray because you're going through the woods and then you're going to be on the beach. So it's a really cool ride. I was super happy about being able to go through the woods and I felt like a real horse girl. I felt like, I mean a cow girl. So my horse's name was Golden and they also give you like this little whip to hit them with and I was not hitting my horse. Like, I just could not bring myself to ever do that. I guess it was really to speed them up some, but yeah, it's a no. So this is us going through like the woods. Like we really walked through mud. I saw an iguana, a termite nest. It was all kinds of stuff out there. But I look so cute on my horse. So after the horseback ride, I decided to get on the banana boat with some other women from my sister's travel group. And if you all can't tell, I'm the second one in the hat. I was having a time. I thought it would be a lot more scary than it was, but it really was just fun and great vibes. It was a lot of fun, you guys. So at this point, I was just collecting experiences left and right, you guys. So I decided to do the fish pedicure. So the fish eat the dead skin off of your feet. And y'all, it was so ticklish. But firstly, they had to wash all the sand or anything off of your feet. Here? Yes, I did. Okay, when I tell you put both feet together slowly at the same time. Once in the water, try to keep your feet still. If you need to put them out for any reason, you can do it, but do it slow. Oh, uh, they're already coming. You can start? You can start now. Okay. Both of them. Yes, please. So, okay, Brittany. So I have always been a super ticklish person, but somehow I managed to survive. I don't know if you think I was being dramatic on that video, but y'all, I promise I was not. But afterwards, they massaged the dead skin off of your feet, put a little lotion on them. And I mean, it was super cool. It was scary, but cool. So I decided to hit up the buffet one more time before we left Mr. Sancho's to get back on the ship because we had a lot of things to do that night. So I just wanted to get my food super quickly. So once we got back on the ship, we had a new dining experience. This is in the same place the mixology class was in earlier, but this was called Test Kitchen. So they give you six different courses. When you sit at the table, they just have listed maybe corn, pumpkin, asparagus, beets, and that's what you know will be in the food. But you don't know how it's gonna be presented. So the first option was corn. So my camera was being crazy again, but this is actually a corn custard. And on the side you have real corn kernels and then popcorn. Um, it was okay. All of the meals were extremely interesting, you guys. Not my favorite, but it was definitely an experience. Next, they had a smoked salmon with pickles and cucumber. I love salmon. The salmon was the best thing. So there was also some kind of beet meal. Not my favorite. I don't really like beets anyway, but it really wasn't bad, but it wasn't good either. 
So next we had a sort of Thanksgiving -y meal. Um, Brussels sprouts, I'm not sure what the hush puppy looking thing was. Mashed potatoes and turkey, it was pretty good. And also this was asparagus ice cream. It was like very, it wasn't sweet, but it was good. It was like, if you don't enjoy your sweets too sweet, this is for you. And lastly, we had the pumpkin cheesecake. You cannot mess this up. It was super good. 10 out of 10. Hey guys, so tonight is the Scarlet Night Party, which is the biggest party on Virgin cruise ships. Everyone is wearing red. The whole ship is red. As you can see, these lights are kind of red. They're not normally red. I'll show you all my outfit. This is the outfit. I do have some heels though too, so yeah. So one thing I was not expecting is the party was everywhere. Every room you went to was almost a different party, different music, different vibes, but all red. Like the entire ship, everywhere you went. There's performers over here, dancers over here, photo shoots over here. It was some of everything, you guys. So then I met up with some of my friends I met on the ship and the elevator got a little <laughs> lit. At this point, people are just buying shots left and right. I had so many lemon drop shots, honey. I finally found my sister. Somehow I found her. Yes. Scarlet night was crazy. People are in their nice clothes in the pool and the vibes are insane. Like everybody's dancing. I even got in the pool in my dress. So this was like the first party. And then there was an after party where things got crazy again. So the next morning, I decided to treat myself to a little solo brunch at the steakhouse. The steakhouse also has brunch in the mornings. So at eight o'clock, I had to be up bright and early. One thing about me, I can get crazy one night and wake up the next morning like everything's fine. So I'm not sure if it's because of where this restaurant is on the ship, but I, I had never seen things moving on the ship. Like you could see my coffee and my water just rocking a little bit. And I had never seen that before. So I decided to get the soft shell St. Benedict and I just don't do runny eggs, but that little muffin underneath was delicious. And the French toast was okay, but I hate bananas. I hate them. So the French toast in the galley is a million times better. My coffee was good. So I then decided to get a little workout in because as I showed you all, like the views at the gym were insane. And now we're actually on the water and it was just a beautiful vibe. If you all watch my Instagram story, you know I love a good Stairmaster, but they just had the treadmill here and it was still great. I had to play my Drake and it was a vibe. Okay guys, so I am getting ready to head to like the cafeteria area and get me a little food. But y'all, the little club here is so fun. I've been there, what, two nights in a row now till the lights came on. And like, I don't go to the club when I'm at home. Like it is a time y'all. And if your wig is sliding off to the back of your neck by the end of the night, you know you had a good time. You know you had a time, you had a time. And then the DJ, she was just amazing. She started playing Chris Brown, Kiss Kiss. She, Bedrock, no, nah, any Nicki Minaj came on, I, I lost it. Like y'all know I'm a barb to death. So any Nicki came on, yeah. <laughs> I, I showed my ass when Miss Nicki Minaj, Nicki Lewinsky. But yeah, I'm of course gonna get more ice cream. So people have been like, so of course this is my sister's group trip. So people have been seeing my sister and then they'll tell her, oh, I saw your sister over at the ice cream stand. Every time they see me, I'm over there getting the ice cream. They'd be like, oh, I saw your sister at the ice cream. Like people are constantly telling her this. I am always there is the thing. Either I just get caught at the wrong time or I'm always there. But yeah, I'm always at the ice cream. So since it was already paid for, I decided to go and get the ramen at the cafeteria, the galley, because I normally don't eat ramen. I'm not a ramen girl, but I thought maybe I just need the right ramen. 
So this was a curry pork ramen. And it wasn't bad at all, but ramen just is not my favorite. It's not working, you guys. And of course, before I left the galley, I had to see if they added any new desserts. I did see a couple of them, but I decided, you know what, Brittany, let's not get too crazy today. So I did get a chance to chill by the pool for a little bit. They had the DJ out there. It was a great vibe, you guys. I just did not want to get in. It was too many people out there. But. I did have dinner after that at Razzle Dazzle, and I do have to say, this was my favorite restaurant. I think they had some of the best food at Razzle Dazzle. And the vibe of the restaurant was something I had never seen before. All of these prints, the lighting, it was very nice. So almost everyone on TikTok who went to Razzle Dazzle ended up getting this popcorn cocktail. So it is a cocktail inside of a popcorn bucket with caramel popcorn on the top and it was pretty good but I'm just not too much of a passion fruit girly but the drink itself I definitely recommend getting it because it is an experience and for an appetizer I got the old bay wings and they were delicious you guys I was very happy with my wings I just wish I would have asked for a little hot sauce sooner because those with some hot sauce Oh, it would just absolutely eat, you guys. It would slap. And for my main dish, I got the V fried chicken, which is fried chicken with a biscuit, collard greens, and some kind of warm chili sauce. But I also got hot sauce. And y'all, it was so, so good. That was delicious. I love those greens. I thought the greens were delicious. The chicken was amazing. This was the best meal I had on the ship, I think. So my sister got the lamb shank. It was also pretty good. I wasn't too crazy about the sauce. I, I was really happy with my meal. My meal just topped everything. But I'm sure with the combination of potatoes, it would be amazing. So I also ordered a second entree and this was like the Thanksgiving special. It was fried turkey. You got mashed potatoes, gravy dressing and cranberry sauce they had the best cranberry sauce on the ship i wasn't too crazy about the turkey because i was super full but if i wasn't i would have loved it i think so firstly i decided to head to the galley and get another french toast burger i was throwing these things back it was so delicious you guys now why would i get this burger if i knew i was gonna have to be in a swimsuit and swimming all day i don't know but it was worth it it was so delicious I will dream about that French toast. It was everything, you guys. Oh yeah, guys, and happy, happy, happy Thanksgiving. Good morning, guys, and happy Thanksgiving. It has been a time, you guys, it has been a time. I've been at the club, tearing the club up eating i've been throwing those french toast burgers back 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 ice cream cones throwing them back i've been at least like eight times i'll probably go back at least three times today since today is really the last day so yeah i need three ice cream cones today but we are in bimini bahamas let me go on my balcony so you all can see my view and see what we're working with over here let me is this on lots yeah let me show you all the view. The water is so blue. Where the water's so blue. I think I sounded like okay. <laughs> okay. Here's the water, super blue. There's the land over there. But we are here. I'm about to get off the ship. I'm wearing like this little sundress. I think I want to explore a little bit. It's an island, so I think I kind of want to drive a golf cart, maybe. And they drive on the left side of the street here. And and Turks, I'm running a car, so I feel like a little golf cart would be like a good practice for driving on the left side of the street. So I don't know. I may or may not do that. Okay. 
Which place you from? Um, I'm from Tennessee. She's a Saint friend. Huh? We're Saint friend. What? Tennessee Saint. Uh, no. <laughs> How often do you come to the Caribbean? Uh, not often. I'll be back soon, though. What's your name? Brittany. Brittany, glad to meet you. You could go to Brittany if you could. Oh, I just didn't know if they were Tennessee blocking. Tennessee volunteer. But... Oh, volunteer. Oh, okay, yeah. That's what for to get the people tearing them up. Okay, so let's hope. Down. Okay, I'm scared. No, no, press okay. the Okay, okay, wait, okay. Okay. Put your camera now. The camera on my phone. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, y'all, I've been on this golf cart. First of all, I think I got scammed because the man, <laughs> be careful, be careful, y'all. I think I got scammed because firstly, the man told me, okay, first thing I heard on TikTok, the golf cart costs $80. So I was like, okay, 80, I'll do 80. I get there, the guy's like, oh, it's $100. And then a woman, I heard a woman, like after I gave him the 100, she was like, oh, it's $30 an hour. I don't need it. I only want it like maybe an hour. So, I just got scammed for what? $70? <laughs> oh my God. So Bimini is only about seven miles long. So I drove the entire length of the island. And once you get to one end, there is a private beach. The beach was so quiet and serene. It was only a couple people there, other people who rented a golf cart, but it was so beautiful, you guys. It was like one of those places kids go in movies when they skip school or something and they just hang out at the beach with their friend that's what this was giving me it was so beautiful behind all of those trees you get this super blue calm ocean and of course there is my golf cart i've been driving After being lost for a little while i finally found my way to the beach club where the actual party was happening this was the virgin beach club and y'all the food was amazing this was definitely one of the best thanksgiving meals i had ever had in my life so there was jerk chicken corn that rum cake was amazing i got a watermelon salad never had one of those there are black beans and rice it was so good if I would have known the food would have been this good, I probably wouldn't have had that big old burger. I wish I could have ate more and more and more. I should have took some to go on the ship. So the food at the beach club was also free since it was virgin. Asada is the best shit you'll have. No, you gotta yeah. try to let you in like the wrap, the bread. Hi, friend. Oh Hi, me too. I gotta try that. Yeah, that shit's best though. The crispy cassava was pretty cool. Where are you sitting? Over there. But that rum cake is lit. Mm. Somebody said my name. How was your tour? Oh, it was fun. Cart? So I got to the pool and I was so happy. I had always wanted to drink out of a coconut and it was delicious. It was like coconut water and then they added a shot of rum to it. You could have just gotten the water, but it was everything. I could have had five of those back to back. Really could have. The party was so much fun. They were playing great music and they had all these floaties in the pool you could get to. But the clouds came out so we decided to leave and I hopped back on my golf cart and explored a little more. I found this local little bar place. I love meeting locals if I go somewhere. No matter if it's in the States or what, I love meeting some locals. And unfortunately, we had more dinner plans this night, so I decided to go ahead and head back to the ship. I did everything there was to do, honestly, and go ahead and get ready for dinner. But Bahamas was so much fun. So it was the last night on the ship. I know you guys. So we went to Pink Agave, which is the Mexican restaurant on the ship and the food was fantastic it was really good you guys and i was just so sad it was the last day but one thing about virgin you gotta go out with a bang so i went to karaoke i wanted to do karaoke so bad but this couple up here they just shut it down they did amazing you guys they turned up 
And of course, I had to hit the club one more time. It was disco night. They were playing 70s music. We were doing the Soul Train line. It was a time, you guys. It was so much fun. And of course, I was with my girl, Jewel, my new friend. And guys, it's the next day. That's all she wrote for my first cruise. A time was had, you guys. But thank you all so much for watching. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.